Good morning. It is, what is today? Wednesday. Yeah, because we're going to swimming. You ready to go swimming? But guess what? We didn't start this vlog in the van. We started it in the house. It's <laughs> <laughs> a change. Dominic is still here because his school has a late start today. So it is, what, it's 9, 9.15 and he needs to leave the house at 10.20. So he's going to have, have to actually stay here by himself and get himself to school by himself. And he's not by himself. Casey's actually down in her office. So she's here. It's just Dominic is a big boy. I and, know you, and you can be responsible enough to go to school for, at the right time without me telling you, right? <clears throat> yes. Okay. Do you have any reminders that'll help you? Um, a timer. You have a timer. Also, I may or may not have left two Tootsie Rolls by mom's office, office and wrote a note that said, take t two only. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any jokes for us today? No. Okay. Maybe when well, I get back from school, I'll tell you some jokes. Gonna be heading out the door here in about 10 minutes. Uh, well, loading up in about 10 minutes. I have to actually go downtown today to pick up a prescription for Hudson. And speaking of, I haven't even told Alicia yet, Hudson is going to be uh, reducing her Pepsid. So we're on, we're on a wean this month. We're attempting over this month to, she's on four mils twice a day. We're attempting to get down to two mils twice a day. So I've got a whole plan I'll show you Perfect. from from the doctor. I didn't make up the plan the doctor did. And then uh, Casey is working her fingers to the bone today. She's got a really long day. Uh, it started at eight thirty, and it's not going to end until eight thirty. So that's a that's a long, hard day. And uh, comparable to mine, no. What was that? That was. I think that was someone calling mom, and then it goes to my watch for some reason. Hmm. Maybe. I don't think that's a thing. Maybe. I think it's just random numbers that call sometimes. Like we get on our phones. Robo dialers. Anyway, yeah. So, starting the vlog. Don't know what's going to happen. Like always. Except for those couple things that I said I do know is going to happen. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Bye. Or not bye. Welcome. Just stay <laughs> around. You got it? <coughs> she should have a towel right below her. That's good. Come on, kid. Have you got it? Yeah? Are we good? Oh my goodness, Hudson Ann. <sighs> yeah, she did that this morning, but it was water when she finally got it out. <sighs> or drool or something. So we've been dealing with a whole bunch of that for a couple of weeks. And I think we figured out why. Hudson has two of her molars that are coming in and they're actually popping out of her gum a little bit above each one but they're not exactly pushing the other teeth out. The other teeth are kind of loose, but I have to keep in, getting in there and, and, and wiggling them back and forth. We're dealing with a lot of drool, and then she doesn't control it as well as she should, and so um, she ends up sputtering because you know some of her spit goes down the wrong pipe. So it's been a, it's been a real fun couple of weeks trying to keep that under control. The worst is when we're in the car, and uh, you know we've got to, we've got to pull over because of a situation like that. Keep it under control, kid. I don't know if you've ever seen me reach up here above, but I've got these clip-on mirrors that go up here. All right, Hudson Ann, good job. An uneventful ride. You did so good. The best kind. Yeah. <laughs> she just had to get that one out, I guess. Gotta do swim 
Hudson's G-Tube was changed at the end of December and it is now April and we're we're supposed to wait like four months now. It used to be three months, we're supposed to wait like four months. So we're gonna go ahead, change her G-Tube out really quick before she gets her shower. Yeah, sorry kid. I know, we hate doing it now. It used to be a lot easier. get a new one out. Normally, we get uh, a little clue that it's getting close to needing to be changed because it um, starts to leak. <laughs> yeah, I haven't noticed this one leaking or causing problems. like so that's the part that her food goes in and then you've got that post and that post actually fills up a little balloon when I get the old one out I'll show you this is where we fill it and deflate it start with deflating this one Yeah, it's got about three mils in it. Three She's gonna, Bush is gonna dump that water out. Uh, you wanna stick with three? Uh, put five in it, so okay. yeah, cause I'm gonna go three and a half to four. All right, Hudson Ann, where do you put that? Okay, and then use lubrication, which we use this because it's, it's, it's just easier to deal with than the KY gel actually going to put some of this around it first on its way out, you know. We haven't done that before. Yeah, sometimes it has like gush yeah, of air. Yeah, right, big like, bubbles, oh, which I feel like we'll probably still get those. Okay, let me get this one prepared. See. Okay, kid. Gonna go quick here. I know, hang in there. Here we go. I know, it's a little tickly.
inflates now that's only one and a half mil but it, it gets a lot bigger but that's what keeps it in there hey look babe it's out look at that it's out you see it that's what's in your belly right there i know you never get to look at it all right all done good to go right so yeah she got a little upset when we were changing the g2 but i mean she's good what like Right away. A minute later, yeah. she's smiling. It was just uncomfortable while we while we did it, but no big deal. Done. Good for another four months, kid. <laughs> Not even ir any irritation there with her G two being touched. No, no big deal. <laughs> School bus called and wanted to make sure she was riding the bus today because there was a late start for for the kids in the district. Um, of course, I said yes. Then remembered, yes, I actually have to go pick Hudson up from school today because I can pick her up at like 3.15, but she doesn't usually get home until like 4.15. I need to leave at 4 o'clock as soon as Dominic gets home to take him to his like OT and speech therapies. And Casey's actually going to already be gone because she has a presentation at one of their offices. And then she has a, another event that she's going to for this evening. So I'm uh, running both kids with me. So Hudson's going with me to take Dominic tonight. So I got to go pick her up. So we've got time. So we're not late. Yeah, and then you and I are going to hang out for two hours while Bub's at therapy. I think we'll go to Trader Joe's and get some more fun snacks. Want to get some fun snacks from Trader Joe's? I'm trying to nap. Yeah, so like, stop <laughs> bugging me. I gotta get a nap before school. I'm gonna cover you up. It's nicer out. It's up. beautiful out. Just windy. Oh, I thought I cleared it. I was gonna try to grab it, but then I thought that would just be worse. <laughs> I thought I had just enough space. Right. There's those diapers. We got a bunch donated to us, so we can pass them on. I love you too. Probably should brush my hair. Good luck keeping it brushed. <laughs> I'm waiting for the FedEx truck to leave so that I can get out. Casey's headed for uh, her meeting and then her other meeting and then her event that she's going to. So I got a little, little smooch on the lips from her before she, before she left. <laughs> Technically, I'm waiting in case he's dropping a package off here, too, so it's not just sitting on the porch, getting porch pirated. <laughs> I mean, I could back out. I mean, I could do it. I'm just, just, I'm just waiting. Big old smudge. Speaking of, I notice sometimes that I haven't cleaned this lens when I get in the van. See if that's better. I never know until I'm editing and it's on a larger screen because I can't really see the tiny screen on the back of this. And as small as it as small as it is, I can't tell if uh, the lens is dirty. <clears throat> Going to the main campus for this one, and I think because it's 12.45, I am going to find some lunch somewhere instead of uh, being out and trying to get home and trying to prepare something to eat. And then, I don't know, I might as well treat myself to something good today. 
pulled up here to Children's Mercy. By the way, I forgot her prescription there. And went to pull into the oversized parking in the parking garage area. And the security guy stops me as I'm coming through the gate. And he's like, we're going to have to figure this out. He's like, you're, you're too big for the garage and there's just, there's no more spots to, to, for you to park. And I'm looking and I should have, I should have taken a photo or at least there's like four construction trucks in there. And then the other were some oversized vans that looked like they were probably wheelchair vans. And then the area that they're supposed to be redoing for uh, disabled parking, but marked off for van access, which is, this sounds so negative, but it's not going to necessarily work because it's the first place that people are going to pull into. So somebody with a handicap placard in a Honda Civic that is fully capable of pulling in and parking in one of the like probably 50 or 60 disabled parking spots that are in the garage is just going to park in that first spot right there. And there's still not going to be anywhere for oversized vans to park. We don't have a choice. We can't fit in the garage. So anyway, but the point is, is that whole area there, they're, they're, uh, they'll st they're still working on it. So it's, it's pretty forgivable today because, um, because yeah, that whole area is, is being worked on. There's no, there's no parking in there for anyone right now, but it's just, it's just so frustrating. It's just so frustrating. I think that there should be two disabled licenses or tags that should go out there. There's the disabled because you need a close parking spot, but there should also be one that designates that you actually have a lift, that you're an accessible van. It doesn't even have to necessarily be oversized, like, you know, I don't fit in garages, you know, that, that, that happens, but that you have a wheelchair lift on your van. There should be a separate one for that. And if you have the handicap placard that's not a accessible van handicap placard, you shouldn't be allowed to park in the van accessible spots. Because we almost, I mean, I, I, I would say probably a third of the time there's not a spot. So there's no spot and then I have to park way out somewhere in the parking lot in order to be able to get Hudson in and out or I have to pull up out front and like let her out or or back out of a spot and then and and let her out leave her sitting there drive into a regular spot get it it's a lot like if you just think of the logistics of that it's it's kind of not cool that that there's not an accessible spot and that those spots are taken by people who need one. My God, traffic, it's terrible. <laughs> I wish you could see this. There's a whole bunch of just almost stop traffic in the middle lane and I needed to go from the entrance ramp all the way to the left side so that I could go and everybody was just stopping and not letting anyone across or in <sighs> traffic you'll never stop complaining about traffic is this just the section of the video where I complain <laughs> sorry <laughs> not trying to be a negative negative Ned today we're we're good I'm still in a good mood but there are some there are some things that need to be worked out no thank you thank you dole whip why are there's rocks stuff.
Can you smell it? All right, it's 311. It's supposed to be here at 315. Good four minutes early. Not bad. I don't see any buses out front, so that, that makes me front row. We have we have picked up our precious cargo. Are you ready, precious cargo? Nice, how fast that lift folds up. When it's not freezing cold out. <laughs> oh Hudson, we're gonna have plenty of time when we get home. I did all that rushing around grabbing your stuff and we didn't even need to. Okay, back at the house and waiting for Dominic to get here. I'm gonna go ahead and get Hudson hooked up to her water. While I'm doing that, so I don't forget later, I'm gonna remind you guys that to the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world, so go be somebody's world. It says you went on a walk, you were happy, your world day was great, and your last wet was at, at three o'clock. So we're good to go, timing-wise, for your wet. We're gonna hook you up, but we're not gonna start it, okay? Is that right with you? <laughs> we don't start your water until three o'clock, or four o'clock. Sorry, kid. That's just, Daddy's just getting all mixed up with what he's saying. Are you good to just chill here? Can we just do that so we don't have to do the whole unloading thing? We'll get you lean back, maybe. How about that? You know, lean back and chill. And then when Bub finally gets here, we'll kick that water on. Okay? Yeah, you wanna listen to the radio? Let's do that. Let's just listen to the radio until he gets here. Um, how did the egg get off the highway? The egg then. All right, we are very early, like 11 minutes early for Dominic's appointment. So I'll take that opportunity, jump back here and start this water for her. She is sawing logs, so I don't wanna bump her chair. All right, let me check your homework for you. Okay. Shade each figure to show the fraction given. Which is homework. How else could you write this one? Hmm? How else could you write this one? What do you mean? What's the same as two fourths? Two or four. What's the same as it? Hmm? What's the same four as two, two over four? Four over two. Nope. We just talked about this. We went over all of this. For two days we talked about it. What is the same as two-fourths? Look at the picture. That should give you a clue. One over two. Yeah, very good. Okay, you got your homework done. And you got like a minute and a half. So you can go ahead and go in. Bye, helpsters. <laughs> If, here, take this in case you need it. Put it in your pocket. I don't think you Did need them there me? anymore. Yeah. I don't think you need them there anymore, but it's in your pocket in case you need it. Bye, Dad. Bye. Have a good day. You too. Have a, have a good therapy. Okay. Bye. Yeah. All right, Trader Joe's was pretty busy. I did not film while we were in there, but picked up a few things. They, uh, there's only one van accessible parking spot anywhere near 
the store. It's right in front, but it was taken. So we sat for probably 10 minutes and waited for the older lady to come out carrying a case of wine, walking, carrying a case of wine in her arms and put it in her van. I, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm judgy. I'm judgy, aren't I? I, I just don't see the, I just don't see the reason why someone who's capable of carrying a case of wine couldn't park in a different spot. I don't know, whatever. Someone inevitably in the comment section of this video is going to let me know that normally I'm a pretty easy going guy or positive attitude and today just seemed off and ask if I'm okay and you know what yes I am and yes I have days where I get grumpy or moments Thinking of positive things. Hudson's been doing a great job. You've been doing a great job after school. I haven't had any issues. Let's say that, knock on wood. And, uh, and our life is pretty good. Sorry, I just see things that could use a change. And I want to change them. <laughs>